Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and today I'm going to share with you three ways of addition, three totally different ways. You might have seen these in one of or two of my videos, uh, just randomly done um, in my brain teaser on the maths activity that I did. But however, I'm going to explain all three of them today and I am showing you that I have added all these three of them in a file folder for Vivan. So whenever we are going out, it's easy for him to do it. And uh, so let's get started. So the three ways are one is the number wheel, addition wheel. Uh, then it's called the uh, addition square. And then it's called the addition uh, way to add up to 10 or any other number. Okay, so there are three ways and they are very, very interesting. And I'm sure if you guys, um, if your kids are doing addition in school or at home, or even if they're advanced, you can make them very, very advanced. You can make them very, very simple. So let's get started with the addition wheel first. So what I've done is I've taken a paper and I have made these three circles. You can make them as three or you can make them as four. So you, in, the, in the center, you have the base number. So like that's five. And then in the second circle, you these numbers are the ones that the five would be added to. So like five is added to 10. And the third wheel is where the number is going to be. Okay. And now it's five plus 10 is 15. That's what's going to come here. However, if you want a fourth wheel around with it, I'm sorry, this is moving way too much. If you want a fourth wheel around with it, you can add two numbers here and then the third wheel will be this plus this plus this and then the answer. Okay, so I've just made two wheels uh, at the moment, uh, but like for my other videos, I would be making a third wheel once Vivan finishes this. So um, I have taken two digits number here. It's not necessary that you have to make two digits number. You can take a single digit number like five plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, whatever number you think you and your child is comfortable with. And um, I'm using this cork board right here uh, so that Vivan can just take these that I've made and I've all used my scrap paper. I had so much scrap paper and I thought of using all of it in making these activities. So I have made almost um, like 16 or 17 of them different ones with different numbers. And then he can use the cork here, the pin and this so that the paper cannot move anywhere. And it's just perfect so that and there's a there's going to be a pencil in the file and folder for him to do and it's going to be easy for him to do it so he needs to just add up here i hope it's clear now five plus six five plus eight the answer five plus three five plus twelve and the answer is going to come here so once this is done he can remove this and he can put the next one so the next one is 11 then i've used 20 I've used six. I have used a lot of variations in, in terms of numbers. 13. You can use a single digit or a double digit or a triple digit if you want. 7, 10, 9 and so on. And there are still so many of them. So I this is how you do number wheel. And if you have any more questions, do let me know. Um, I can explain it again. So this was number wheel. Going to the next one, which is called the square. So let's see if we can pin this down right here. It's not going to move. Okay, I think I need to use another shape here. So in this, what you have to do is the sum, as you can see, it says sum of 18. So all these numbers, okay, horizontally and vertically, they need to add up to 18. So I have done this as an example for you. So 5, 9, 8 and 3 were given. And the empty spaces that you see that I filled with pencil is going to be the space that the child has to fill in by adding this and seeing what is left over here. So 8 plus 3. Okay, once you add up and then you see what is left to make 18 and that's the numbers that's going to come here. So once you have 7 here, you add 7 and 9 and then you see what's missing. Then that missing number is going to come here and so on. So this way, this way this way this way this way 
and this way it all has to add up to 18 so guys if you want to start you can always start from a smaller number okay i have gone to a bigger number because we have been doing it for quite some time now and that's why i have used bigger numbers but i haven't gone to three digit yet i'm still like on two digit with vivan so we did some we are doing some of 18 then this is sum of 15 sum of 30 sum of 24 of 15 again but in a different pattern sum of 27 sum of 30 again in a different way sum is 60 so i think this is going to be this is where he would need uh, a lot of pencil work and he can definitely work here because i haven't used the back side so that just he can do his calculation and then i have sum of 12 some of 45 some of 36 and then there are a few more so i have made 17 of these two and uh, let me know guys if you've understood the concept if not i can explain it all over again now these were the two very different concepts but the way i have made them is it's super easy and he can like definitely check with me the way it's done i have used small sheets here you can use bigger cutout paper this is the size that was already available for me these were all extra sheets that i have used here okay now moving forward i have ways to add up 10 now you have ways to add up 10 i'm gonna put this right here i'll tell you what i have used this because i think it's gonna be an added thing for vivan to use and he he gets very happy whenever he uses this board so that's why i've used it or if you want to use you can use a notebook and it can be like perfectly done or you can staple them you can bind them together you can use a ring binder if you have all those sheets and uh, uh it, it's just my way to present to him okay so here i what i've done i have made a circle here and then you have all these uh antennas right here which says ways to add up to 10 the number can change uh what i've done i have given him like 11 of these here but i have made different different ones and the empty space that's here i have already done this one for you as an example i'm gonna erase this for vivan because he needs to figure it out himself i have made these 10 dots for him to see if he wants to make some kind of a connection and then if you can see it's 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5, 8 plus 2, 1 plus 9, 7 plus 3, 6 plus 4. Because they're all adding up to 10. Then you have ways to add up to 16. And then I have 16 things here. Then you have ways to add up to 13. Ways to add up to 20. You can change the number with what you think your child is comfortable with. 17 and you can use less um antennas for sure and then you have ways to add up nine i think i had just this paper uh so i had to use it and that's what i did i made a couple of these and i think they are pretty good and they might last uh me at least two visits of a restaurant or two visits somewhere if we go and it's also pretty cool because when he has free time he can just open the folder he doesn't need me at all because his pencil his eraser is right here he has the cockboard to use this and he can just get going so guys let me know how are these three concepts uh, of addition for you uh, i plan to do it for subtraction and multiplication as well if it's been useful to you give me a thumbs up and if you think this video is worth sharing do share it with your friends colleagues teachers and uh, your neighbors for sure uh, if you have any kind of feedback if you have any questions do let me know you can leave a comment down below thanks for watching this video guys and uh, i'm just gonna wind up and show you like how um, amazingly all of them fit so well right here and this can go on the top and the folder is ready to go so this is my file and folder for maths thanks for watching guys see you next time